chapter 1, verse 3 of Zechariah. Therefore say unto them, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, Turn ye unto me, saith the Lord of hosts, and I will turn unto you, saith the Lord of hosts. Now this is a grand principle throughout the word of God, isn't it? I challenge you to think of one occasion when you turn to the Lord that he gave you a hard time. He doesn't. There's only one occasion in the Bible where we read about God being in a hurry, and that's when the father runs to receive the prodigal. He is slow to anger, but he is ready to part. He's ready to part. Sometimes if my children misbehave and I correct them and then they do the same thing again and I correct them, they do the same thing again and I correct them and then they go and do the same thing again and they come in and say, I'm sorry, Daddy. And I say, well, why don't you just sit there and think about that? I'm not sure you really are sorry because you keep doing the same thing. But you know, God doesn't make me sit there and wait and think about it. The moment I come to him, he forgives me. He receives me. In fact, he tells me it's already forgiven. I don't ask for forgiveness. The scripture says if we confess our sin, we come in on the good of the forgiveness that has already been provided through the work of the cross. He doesn't wait until we initiate it. He doesn't wait until we ask for forgiveness to make provision. He already did that 2,000 years ago. And so he invites us to come. Dear Christian, I challenge you to think of the happiest days in your life. They're the days when you're in fellowship with God. The days when all is clear between your soul and God. Those are the days when you feel there's power, there's connection, when you feel you have confidence before God and you have joy in witness. Those are the days that are the happiest days of our lives. And so I encourage you to hear the words of the Lord here. He says, the minute you turn to me, I'll be right there. Turn to me, I'll turn to you. In other words, even if you've wandered for a long time, if your heart is a thousand miles from the Lord, you'd think, well, if I've wandered a thousand miles, I'll have to, I'll have to go back a thousand. But you see, he's been following you. The scripture says, thou tellest my wanderings. He counts the footsteps away. And the minute we turn, we're in his arms. He's right there. Just when I need him most. Just when I need him most, Jesus is here to comfort and cheer just when I need him most. The minute you turn, he's right there. A very present help, or as the word puts it, a help in the nick of time. The minute I turn, I find that he's right there. He is not far from every one of us, says the Apostle Paul.